In this video, we're talking bosses in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, as today we have a new look at the biggest boss in Zombies history and discussions on this potentially being the final boss fight before completing all of the missions in Modern Warfare Zombies. On top of that, we'll also be diving into a massive list of new zombie bosses that are also present within the game. But to stay updated on everything Zombies, you need to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell if you haven't already. But thanks to the achievements going live for Modern Warfare 3 on Xbox, we have some brand new game play images from zombies including the brand new massive boss now we caught a glimpse of this boss at the end of the reveal trailer which as of now we thought was called the gormgant but according to the achievements and trophies this boss is actually called orcus and this is a brand new shot that we have of it where as you can see this thing is absolutely huge and also looks pretty disgusting so the achievement tied to this image is called one against all which is to kill orcus whilst in a six-person squad in Modern Warfare Zombies. Now, up until now, when I went to Treyarch, I asked developers if there was some sort of boss fight that would require more than just a squad of three, potentially the entire map. And this looks set to be the answer to that. With the fact that this trophy is tied to beating it whilst in a six-person squad, this sounds like this boss is going to be so big and so difficult that you will need to have six players banding together to try and take this thing down. Now, up until now, we don't know exactly how this boss appears from my game experience i didn't come across it there are some rumors that suggest that this is going to be the final exfil boss that you need to take down in order to achieve that final exfil but we also have a secondary image of this boss being taken down where you can see damage is being taken to the back of its long neck here you can see it's glowing with these dark ether colors it looks amazing but this achievement tied here is called the end question mark which is the complete act three in modern warfare zombies now we know that the storyline is going to be broken down into three acts of missions you've got act one which serves more as the tutorial for the game mode where you'll be doing some more basic activities such as completing certain contracts and doing certain things act two is really going to dive into the meat and bones and act three is where things are going to get extremely interesting now we know that the main storyline is all tied around victor zakayev who threw down the vial that created this incursion in the first place so the three acts must involve Zakayev in some way, shape or form. But this image suggests that the ending for the act three is going to involve this massive Orcus boss. Now, I don't think this is solely going to be a boss that we will only see for the final act three mission. Rather, this image is being used as a red herring to not spoil what exactly happens at the end of that third act. That's just one of many bosses because according to MW3 Intel on Twitter, they have data mined a massive list of bosses that are going to be within Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Now, these won't be to the same scale as the Orcus, but they will be bosses that will be present in the map via the human faction AI known as Terminus Outcomes, where there's a three-layer progression where you clear a stronghold to get a key for an encampment, and by completing an encampment, you get a key to open a fortress. And these will be the toughest areas to clear out, containing zombies and humans, as well as a boss called a Warlord. Lord. Now, thanks to MW3 Intel on Twitter, we know the names of the bosses that will be inside of the human fortresses. And these bosses are called All for One, Maestro, Rainmaker, and Chemist. Now, interestingly, the Chemist was also a boss in DMZ, but I don't think it will be the exact same one. But the most peculiar from this list is this boss called All for One. And any of you that are familiar with My Hero Academia will recognize that name as it's the overarching antagonist. Now, I don't know if this is some weird crossover that they're going to have in the game with my hero, but the concept could at least be based off of that character's name, hence where the idea of the All for One boss is that it can absorb other people's powers. And in the series, aims to eventually conquer the world as a self-proclaimed demon lord. So if this boss is anything like that, that could be very strange, but also pretty cool. But we also have a list of other bosses which are smaller that will come across within the game but are not as big as a full-on boss fight and the list from modern warfare 3 intel says that we're going to have a juggernaut which we all know what that is a hammer naught which is some variation of the jug all for one that we mentioned before the chemist a gunslinger boss maestro 
MD, Phalanx, Rainmaker, Rush Hour, and Shadow. It's likely that at least some of these bosses, the ones which have full-on names, are going to be the Warlords, which are going to be trapped within the fortresses of the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies map, because there is an achievement called Conqueror, which is to defeat a Warlord in Modern Warfare Zombies, and this is the image associated with it. You can't really see anything. It just looks like a generic soldier that's being blinded by light. But from what the achievements can confirm, as well as some of these potential leaked information about bosses there seems to be a lot of action going on within this map in terms of different zombie types and bosses to take down now we also have some brand new gameplay footage of modern warfare zombies to show you that was released a few days ago on call of duty's instagram we have one gameplay shot that shows a brief snippet of gameplay in each of the three threat zones starting off in the low threat which is the easy round one to ten zombies the medium threat which is around 20 to round 30 35, and then the high threat, which is round 55 plus with super sprinters, where you can see just how chaotic and insane that area of the map will be. It really isn't for the faint of heart. You need to be absolutely geared up with all perks and tier three pack a punch to be able to tackle all of the zombie types in the high threat zone. But not only that, we also got some footage more recently from Call of Duty, which is a video of the mystery box spinning with every possible weapon shown in the box. And this is never something we normally see ahead of a zombies launch but the idea is that you would pause the screen and land on a random weapon and there are some surprises in here because we see that all three of the confirmed wonder weapons that we've spoken about before are going to be in the mystery box such as the ray gun the scorcher wonder weapon and the wonder waffer dg2 which seem to be quite a surprise to a lot of the community when we've already discussed that the wonder waffer is in modern warfare 3 zombies i believe chopper was the only content creator that actually got to use it during the hands on time and he said that it felt like the wonder waffer it looks and plays like the traditional one that we all know and love and not some weird variant from tag the totem for instance with call of duty releasing these small videos like this i'm sure there's going to be quite a few more that we'll be covering here on the channel the achievements also give us a really good look at some other parts of modern warfare 3 zombies such as a look at the wonder fizz machine and drinking a perk within modern warfare zombies where it is identical to cold war we have the exact same can system we've got the same machine which i'm really happy about and this is tied to an achievement called perkaholic which is to have nine perks active at the same time so there is no perk limit you can literally just go ahead and drink all nine perks from the wonder fizz if you have enough money for it or by getting them through other means like a reward rift or looting them from just finding them we also get a first look at what your player tombstone will look like if you die out whilst having tombstone soda and this is an incredible new feature of the perk and this is tied to achievement back from the dead to reclaim your gear from a tombstone in modern warfare zombies so if you die out in a game of zombies and bleed out and you don't come back in your next infill in modern warfare zombies if you go to your tombstone you'll be able to get all of your loadout and gear back including perks and weapons which is absolutely insane this image is just so funny that this is actually tied to an achievement and you can clearly see that someone is down with the ray gun wanting the revive it's quite ironic and this trophy is called helpful stranger which is to revive a player from a different squad in modern warfare zombies which proves that even if someone in the game is down and you're not on their team you can still revive them if you see them downed, which is a really cool feature when you think about it. That means that at any moment when you go down, if you are separated from your squad, there is a chance that there are going to be 20 other players in the lobby somewhere near you that will notice that you are downed and revive you and join that squad, which is really cool. Now, this next screenshot is pretty weird because it just looks like there's no context to it. It's just a gameplay shot of the player that's clearly taken a lot of damage. But this is tied to a pretty difficult achievement called Seeing Red which is to complete five contracts in the high threat zone in a single deployment. Now, this is really hard. From what I played from my experience, we took down a contract in the high threat zone to take down a disciple mini boss, and we could not damage this thing. It was so incredibly strong. So, like, it's ironic that the character's player screen
screen is red because majority of the time you will be seeing red because you'll be be hit a lot by zombies that are super sprinting it's generally really difficult and i'm excited to see how as time goes on when the game first comes out how we master that difficulty and really start to power over it and probably my favorite achievement from all of this list which is a secret one is called you can pet the dog which is to simply pet a hellhound in modern warfare zombies as a secret trophy and that is simply just to get brain rot on your weapon and brain rot a hellhound where there is no other enemies around and you'll be able to pet it like we could in black ops cold war as a fun little easter egg clearly the developers want everyone to pet the dog and i'm all for it that's all we have in this video but there is going to be a massive zombies blog post going live in the next few days detailing everything officially from treyarch so if you want to see that here on the channel before the game's out then be sure to subscribe because i'll be bringing it to your faces